all cyberpunks. Every computer, every keyboard, and every scanner. Don't forget those virtual reality chips. Attention all units, there are the 211 and Angel Communications. All units in the vicinity, please respond. Transform. <clears throat> Aren't you boys out kind of late for a school night? Black Scorpion. Look, we were just doing our homework. Let me guess. Breaking and entering. More like assault and battery. Get her! I'd give that an A for effort. Here's an apple for the teacher! Or the head of the class. School's not out yet. day, Darcy Walker is a cop, but in the dark of night, she becomes Black Scorpion, doing with a mask what she can't do with a badge. Open your eyes and you'll get a great big surprise. Hardy. <laughs> what is it? It's a laptop. I thought I was your laptop. Yeah, well, this one will actually keep track of my affairs. <laughs> I don't need a computer to do that. We started having an affair five years ago on Valentine's Day. I, mm -hmm. What I mean is this will keep track of my appointments, for instance. I have to do is press this one button and <laughs> voila, there's my nine o'clock with Dr. Bellum. <clears throat> uh, Mayor Worth? Uh, 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 yes. Good morning. I, I hope I'm not late. Uh, no, uh, not at all. Please sit. <clears throat> what can I do to help you? Well, actually, Mayor, you've got it backwards because I'm here to help you get reelected. Yeah, well, uh, how are you going to do that? I have a proposal to implement new technology for the poor, which would help you lower the crime rate and reduce overcrowding. Did you receive my proposal? Proposal? Hmm. I'll go get it. Oh, oh uh, no, 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 uh, I have it right here. Uh, oh, yes, you're the uh, dingbat. I mean, the uh, doctor who wants me to spend millions of dollars giving video games to the poor. Well, actually, what I want to do is give the disadvantage an advantage with virtual reality housing. Although I will admit the technology is similar to, but levels above, Wrath of Warriors. Uh, Wrath of Warriors? That's the game I invented, which is a stepping stone to my virtual reality housing project. Except for instead of transporting the privilege into medieval battle, we'd be transporting the poor into what could only be described as a virtual paradise. You mean they live inside your computer? Well, not exactly. You see, their bodies would go into a profound state of unconsciousness, nourished by life support systems, and that would then leave their minds free to explore the vast regions of the imagination. Yes, well, uh, what sounds real to me 
is the cost. How can you put a price on someone's happiness, Mayor? The cost I'm talking about is losing the election. The poor don't vote. Let's face it, Mayor, these people are miserable. They're poor. <laughs> They're supposed to be miserable. The answer is no. Bex, Slugger, our snitch from the Hell to Pay pawn shop just called with a tip on stolen computers. Go check it out. Not now, Cap. Sir Slugger is defending the peasants of Pondovia in virtual reality. Retreat or feel the blade of my rapier, ye hard-hearted scoundrels. I think he can hear you. He's immersed himself in a world of virtual reality. Look, help me get that thing off him. Oh! Oh, get him! Need a car to stay outside! Oh! Hey, what's the idea, Cap? The big idea is to fight real bad guys, not pretend ones. Now, giddy up or sally forth or whatever it is you knights do. Come on, Galahad. I can't believe two grown men can get so excited over a silly game. Darks, Darks, this is not just a game. All right, Wrath of Warrior takes you to a whole new level of exhilaration never experienced before by the human body. But, I mean, that's at least what Jad says, you know. I mean, come on, Darks, it's fun. Haven't you ever uh, fantasized about being with someone else? Actually, yes, I have. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and? 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 Uh -huh. For reality. Well, you know, whoever invented this game is certainly living in a fantasy land. I mean, they made enough and they probably bought their own personal castle. Increased difficulty level. Modify response system for instant reaction time. Thrust on vertical leap. Increase difficulty level to maximum. skills. Load new environment. Alpha test the parameters in the new scenario. Perfected. Bellum, Gigawood's and I have been waiting all day for you to get out of that game. Soon it will no longer be just a game, Royal Batoski. I'm inside the virtual world, perfecting its parameters. I need to figure out what we're going to do now that the mayor's rejected our proposal. But what are our choices? Dr. Bellum, we're going to have to go back to Angel Home and beg them for our jobs back. We're never going back there. Our game made that company rich and they refused to offer us profit participation. Why would we even consider going back? Because we live with the poor people. Batovsky, these people are just like you and me. Forced to work for slave wages just to put food on their table, and they deserve better. They're never gonna have it, not as long as that tyrant sits on the mayor's throne. Tyrants? Dr. Bellum, this isn't one of your games. No. No, it isn't. If it were, I'd have a chance of winning. We all would. Are you all right, Dr. Bellum? No, I'm not. There's much fighting to do. Come on, let's go back in.
Attention all units, we have a possible 211 at Angel Com. All available units in the vicinity, please respond. Don't wait up. Circuitry makes me feel like a computer. Yeah, I feel like uploading something. Well, don't wait for me to push your command keys, girls. We've got equipment to replace. Between about 30,000 terabytes per second. What are you doing? Just transferring some of Mayor Wood's campaign funds for our program. <laughs> Sorry, but I think your program has a bug in it. Last what scorpion? You know, you three aren't the cyberpunks I was expecting. I'm Mindbender, the latest model in computer criminals. And these are my components. I'm Gick. And I'm Bite. And they're about to make you a memory. Girls? my extensions and you're next too bad you can't short circuit me black scorpion we'll see about that oh. didn't i tell you my mainframe is equipped with a surge protector too bad yours isn't <laughs> Looks like I got you right where I want you. I've been fantasizing about this moment for a long time. You're under arrest. I've been fantasizing about this moment too, Detective. And I'm posting bail. through Black Scorpion offline, Mindbender. <laughs> yeah, she won't be logging on again anytime soon. Unfortunately, it looks as though she's found a new server. She's gaining on us. Her modem's a lot faster than ours. So what do we do? Let's make this a hard drive for her, shall we? Scorpion, you've got mail. <laughs> now, if you 
you're gonna use your hardware, I'm going to use mine. What's that? It's my latest invention, the electromagnetic pulsator. Guaranteed to crash any computer, including one on wheels. with this software. But what about my software? It needs to be played with, too. Now, Babette, if I wanted to be nagged, I'd go home to my wife. I hate that horrible thing. Well, so do I, but I'm married to her. Talking about the computer, can't we get rid of it? We cannot get rid of it. We live in a computer world. Not yet, but you're on your way. Uh, uh, who are you? Well, I used to be Dr. Cerebella, but now... I'm Mindbender. What do you mean, used to be? And I'm here to give you a dose of reality. Virtual reality. Where are we? Hicks, what are you wearing? <laughs> the same thing you're wearing. Oh, double Hick. What yeah, happened to my neck? We'll forget about your nighty. What happened to us? The last thing I remember is having that helmet shoved on my head. Helmet? Oh, oh Dr. Bella must have cybernapped us. She's put us inside her game. Oh, do you know how to play? <laughs> no, but I think we're about to find out. Oh, Artie, look, it's a pig man. Oh. Take these two slaves to the Great Hall. Slaves? Will you quit poking me? You better be careful, Mr. Mayor. Or you'll find out what a killer virtual reality can be. So now that you know your program works, what next? We implement the technology citywide. Isn't that gonna cost us a lot of money? Mayor Worth authorized the budget. What are you talking about? I hacked into his computer and transferred his re-election funds. And how long do you plan on keeping them in Wrath Warriors? Until my virtual reality housing project is a success. And if he and his secretary don't survive the game that long? And we dumped their bodies in the Angel River. So I thought I was safe. Out of sight, out of mind. <sighs> no. <laughs> hey, you got a book, a magazine, something? Come on in. What you got, baby? Argyle. What you got, huh? Woo! Argyle. Is that the best you got? Uh, I mess with guys twice as big and three times as ugly. Yeah! And I know you, girlfriend. <laughs> if you want his attention, you just gotta do what I do. Damn, baby! To mama! Damn! Who the man? Crazy woman. I must be a crazy woman for staying with a fool like you. <sighs> Did you fix Darcy's car yet? I was going to, but I had to go kick some peasant's butt. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna kick your butt if I catch you playing that game again. You just like those damsels in distress. <laughs> You're not really into this Wrath of Warrior stuff, are you? Oh, Blue, you gotta try it. You just. I do my fair share of role playing, thank you. Hey, Walker, come on. Let's go. Can I just raise it with an emergency? What kind of emergency? Although the police are reluctant to call it a kidnapping, they have no explanation for the mysterious disappearance of Mayor Worth and his secretary. Well, hopefully, we can explain it when Walker and Rafferty get back from City Hall. That's where I sent them to see if they could turn up any leads. We got one. Cap, listen to this. According to Mayor Worth's computer date book, his last appointment was with a Dr. Cerebellum. Ooh, correct me if I'm wrong, but is that not the fair damsel who concocted our favorite diversion, Wrath of Warriors? All right, then, you knights in polyester. Go forth and check it out. Off we ride to fulfill our noble quest. Hey, hey. 
Oh, come on, you two. Uh, I just needed a little break from all that pansy talk. Besides, D Dr. Bellum isn't a real lead. I mean, what could Slugger and Specs possibly get from her? Rapid Warrior is the deluxe edition. Wow. Would you like to try it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, but we're actually here to ask you about the uh, meeting you had with the mayor. Oh, that's what you said, but you didn't say how you found out about it. His computer. Oh, I forgot about that. That you officers can be so resourceful. Did you two find out about the appointment on your own? Well, uh, actually... Actually, we did. Well, what you might call cyber cops, ma'am. Anything to do with computers? That's our specialty. Take Wrath of Warriors, for instance. We can defeat the entire army with just a rock and a slingshot. We can? Would you like a demonstration? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Do you mind if I set the difficulty level to master of the game? Oh, give it everything you got. Go big or go home, Doc. I intend to. Oh, my God, where are we? We're in that VR world. Oh, are we supposed to fight that whole army on our own? Well, you're the one that said all we needed was a rock and a slingshot. I just got a tip on some stolen computer down at the Hell to Pay pawn shop. Where the hell did those two disappear to this time? Well, Cap, you signed them our case, remember? Oh. Well, then it's only fair that I assign theirs to you. Check out the lead on the pawn shop. Right on it, Cap. No, no, not you, Rafferty. Her. Oh, wait a minute, Cap. You're splitting us up? No, I want Rafferty to go see Dr. Bellum. Yeah, but you already sent Specs and Slugger there. Yeah, well, they should have been back two hours ago. Now, if I know those two nincompoops, they're probably sitting on their butts playing Wrath of Warriors. Anyway, see if you can grab them and bring them back here to face the Wrath of Strickland! <laughs> Pawn shop just became a 211. Any units in the vicinity, please respond. Control unit 184 on route to location. Activate auto transform. Hurry up, man. I got a date. Speaking of dates, I think you two have one with Warden Brickhouse of Pearlgate Penitentiary. Be my type. Let's get her. Traveling south on Paradise Alley, request backup for pursuit.
but I don't know your fellow officer. So you're saying that Slugger and Specs never came by? Specs and Slugger? I know, I know. You don't have to say it. They sound like characters in one of your video games. Don't know how right you are. And you're certain that they never stopped by? I think I would remember them, Detective. I think you would, too. One's about this tall, handsome, wears very thick glasses. The other one's really short, really big nose, and always has a baseball cap on, a lot like that one right there. Drop it. <laughs> Don't tell me a big, strong man like you is afraid of a tiny little mouse. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I thought it was a weapon. Actually, it is, and it's quite dangerous. A mouse. Don't let appearances deceive you, Detective. My weapon may look simple, but it's a lot more lethal than yours. Although it does operate on the same principle. Point. <laughs> Click. Not back yet? No, and he's not answering his radio either. What? First the mayor, then Babette, and then Slugger and Specs, and now Rafferty. How come everybody that comes in contact with Dr. Bellum disappears? Judging by that steak knife, I'd say he's boss! Specs, Slugger. What are you doing here? What do you mean here? Where is here? We're in Wrath of Warriors. What are you talking about? This isn't the game. Yes, it is, and Bellum's one of those it keeps. Do you know where you are? You're in one of the holding cages for the Gladiator Arena. doing well they're still alive <laughs> so far anyway playtime's over oh no <laughs> it's just beginning gig fight rammer drag and drop her into a chair <sighs>
hacked into the Wrath of Warriors prototype. What? What are you doing here? Playing Wrath of Warriors just like you. <sighs> what do you mean? Well, if this Tinder Eleven took away my VR software, I had to use the computer in the Scorpion layer to hack into Angel Com's mainframe to check out the new game prototype. Which Dr. Bellum stole. Dr. Bellum? Yeah, she and Mindbender are one and the same. Whoever he is, he just rescued Walker. He did download the Slave Master to capture him while Byte terminates his connection. She must have hooked up a remote link in her apartment. Intruders in the torture chamber! Men, follow me! We'll give the doctor a virus to play with. Yeah, I uploaded it from the computer in the Scorpion Lair. You're gonna need it. What for? To become Black Scorpion and get mind better to the game. If she were to enter the virtual world, she would have to leave the real one. And more importantly, her computer. That'll give me the chance to reprogram her system. We got it, Mindbender. He's out. Excellent. Now change the encryption. From now on, I don't want anyone in the game who doesn't play by the rules. My rules. <laughs> I don't care who she is. I need help feeding that hog. she get in there? I don't know. There's no way anyone could have bypassed our encryption. Well, apparently someone did, you third-rate data processor. <laughs> We're not compatible. Oh, my God. 
Someone killed, right? You gotta do it yourself. Black Scorpion, your presence here does not compute. I just wanted to get you in the game. Well, here I am. Come on, let's play. to reality, True Blue. <laughs> How did I get here? All the helmets were plugged into the main frame. All I had to do was switch your jack with my inventors. So when she pressed the remote... I escaped instead of her. Exactly. Well, come on, let's switch back to the others before she tries again. the plug on Dr. Bellum's virtual reality housing project, he is expected to announce a new program that will make use of her technology. A virtual reality cell block in Pearl Gate Penitentiary. This will cut down on violence, and not to mention overcrowding, which will allow us to lock up three or four prisoners in one cell. And I might add that so far, our test subjects are doing just fine. That's it. No more Wrath of Warriors for us. Wait a minute, you guys are really giving up the game? Yeah, this virtual reality stuff, it's way too dangerous. No kid. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with a little bit of fantasy. Really? What do you fantasize about? I mean, when you're playing. Uh, I don't know. You'd laugh. Try me. Okay, I'm a, uh, I'm a knight. See, I'm a heroic knight riding this mighty white stallion, slaying fire-breathing dragons and rescuing the fair maiden. Ah, uh, who's the fair maiden? I know. I know. Oh, wait, let me guess. Black Scorpion. Well, oh, come on, I said it was a fantasy, didn't I? Yeah, well, the well, trouble with fantasy is it usually leaves you disappointed. Why don't you find yourself a real woman? Well, I don't know, I guess I'm afraid that, uh, Reality won't be as exciting as fantasy. Uh, speaking of reality, there's a robbery in progress at First Angel Bank. Hey, Romeo, exciting enough for you? Move out. <laughs> I the terror fell in as quickly as the flower will in the first row. 
frost of winter. Oh, no, now they got me talking like a pansy. <laughs>